The Boy and the Heron, the brand new film coming out of Studio Ghibli, and this is my favorite Studio Ghibli movie that I've ever seen. Seriously, I haven't seen Howl's Moving Castle, or Spirit of the Way, or, 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 you know, any of the others that you can name off, right? I haven't seen any of them. This is my very first, you know, Studio Ghibli movie. I think mainly because, like, I think it's mainly because I'm not a big fan of, like, anime. Like, I'm, like, the odd 20-something-year-old who's not a fan of, like, anime art style, anime animation, and and manga, and all, all the kind of stuff. I'm I'm all Western. I'm like, that's animation. That That's good. That's good animation. It's something about the anime art style doesn't really click with me. You know, Japanese animation art style just doesn't click with me. I don't know why. But, so, probably that's the reason I have been watching, you know, the Super Ghibli movies, um as religiously at all as most most film fans are and so I, i'm like stop it i'm going to do it i'm going to watch the new one and i just did and i will say this i think the movie is pretty good solid is it really fantastic no i don't think so mainly because i think in the middle like i get it in the middle like we, this is a quest movie, right? This is a, a quest movie where our main character has a goal, and the goal is to do X, and we need to head to that set goal. The problem is with this, if it feels like they don't, if, again, you want to do world building, but sometimes it feels in this movie that it really wants to just focus on the world building and not actually its plot itself. Like it forgets about the plot. Really it does. It's like I need to find my father's bride and my future my stepmother. I need to find her. Oh yeah, um yeah, I'm just going to uh, cut a fish. Um I'm going to uh, sleep under a table. I'm going to do this and this and this. You know, we'll get back to it, but you know, we'll don't we'll you know, don't we'll, we won't focus on that quest. Yeah, we'll get to it, and we don't worry that will happen. But we'll 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 focus on other things. And I'm like, no, this is a quest movie. You need to focus on the quest. You know, that's what draw that is going to draw us in as an audience member. You know, th there's ways to do well building. The, the world building is just going to happen naturally. You know, when the moment you see goddamn giant pigeons running around like it as a kingdom. That's world building. Oh, they, they eat people. That's world building. That's capitalization. So, I'm like, the whole fish pirate thing, I was like, you can easy step. Or, like, easy cut. You know, to a certain point. Um, a simple point A. It's like, hey, point A to point B, and then on to the west of the quest. Honestly. Because the first 35, 40 minutes of the movie is really good. And it's very little in dialogue, actually. It's weird. It's one of those, like, our main character doesn't speak until, like, the first 30 minutes of the movie? Like, our main character is so deep in grief. I mean, the whole movie is about, um, like, what, oh, our, our main character's name was, uh, uh, um, uh, Mariko. I think it's Mariko. Mariko, who is, who is our main character, he witnessed his mother die uh, die in a war invasion of Tokyo, and three months later, him and her f and and his father are in essentially a, c a country town and a, in a country cottage uh, with ha with maids and housewife you know with maids running around and them questioning like, God damn it, how do you got those packets of smokes? And, but the thing is, Mariko's, da you know, dad is, in three months, is quickly moving on from his mom. New bride, live, m moving in, a kid's on the way, and Mar Mariko's, he's like, dude, like, it just happened. It was three months ago. This is I'm st like the wound is open, and of course, like this is there's a line in this where 
you know, the, I forgot, the, I mean, the, the new bride, the new wife, is like, I'm your mother now. Accept it. And of course he's like, fuck you, no you don't. And he does a side treatment. You know, and he's still diving through this grief and pain and, and suffering. And so he's just laying on the bed. You know, he doesn't do much. He eats a little bit, maybe says a word, and moves on. And he's basically eating sleep. And then, and then he gets, you know, it's time for school. He gets bullied in school. And he wants to stay at home. He wants to, you know, he wants to stay at home. And the way he does it, you just go, God damn, just fake, just pretend you're throwing up. But clearly you want to be in, you know, you want to be, don't want to go to school and, in not a couple of days, you don't want to go to the store at all, man. So he gets a walk and, like, hits himself in the head with the walk, and his blood is gushing out, so he makes a star from it. You just go, he's doing everything in his power to just not, he doesn't want to do anything. And it goes out, and, but what happens is there's this bird, the, 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 the heroin, that has, like, a man inside. Um, he's like, you are there, separate to a quest, the quest is there, and the quest is, oh, the new bride is gone, you know where she is, or you know where her foot, footsteps are, you go, and you're going to rescue her, you're going to save her, you're going to find her, and all that kind of stuff, and, and bond the relationship even further, and is, and you can tell, that out through the movie it's like he's at the beginning he calls the new mom by her her by her birth name by her given name and then at the end of the movie he's saying mother my mom my mom my mother my mother my mother my mother and you're like that's a level of acceptance there's these subtle things out for the movie that gives a sense like it's not him shouting that i accept her I have moved on completely. I have moved on completely at all. I am... Oh, I accept my my dad's new boy is my new mom. It's not, there's no scene like that. But, just little, little nods, little, little hints, little moments. Alpha, you know, line drops here and there. But I don't like this movie. Does get weird. I mean, you know, out of the blue, you're talking about time, time and space, and and powers, and you are just like, well, this is a weird, wacky way. I I understand why that isn't like um. If this is like the common theme with Studio Ghibli movies, I can't help but be like. I wonder why there's no live action spill away or live action house movie castle because this year it'll be unfilmable. Yeah. And you know, the voice acting's pretty good. I mean, for the um, English dub, you got uh, actors like Christian Bale voicing and Walter Patterson and uh, uh, Jenna, Ch- uh, Jenna Chan and uh, Lawrence Pugh, William Fafoe, Walter Patterson. Um, voicing, voicing the cast. And, and, and the cast is pretty solid, pretty good, and good performance out through, and, and that, um, but yeah, I, I don't know, like, I, I thought the movie was good, I thought it was fine, I didn't thought it was this, like, spectacular thing, I thought halfway through, it, it, it lost its balance, but the moment it finds its spot, it, it, it starts picking up, it starts picking up completely, so, yeah, that's my experience with my favorite Studio Ghibli film.